Uh, you're rolling. All right, hey everybody, it's Matt Sloan from Skyfire Consulting, your uh, public safety one-stop shop for uh, drone solutions. We are here in Northern California with our friend Romeo Dersher from DJI. Canada, we're in Canada, can't it, you tell? It feels like it, it's cold enough out here, <laughs> hence, the, hence the hats. So, uh, Romeo, uh, this product was just announced today. Uh, it's the uh, Mavic 2 Enterprise with a dual sensor on it. So tell me a little bit about it. What are we, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so I'm totally excited because this is really something that uh, we we have been listening to to the feedback from public safety, and it's obvious that an XT2 on a Matrice 200 series is an amazing platform, but sometimes you just need that smaller platform so you can go closer, you can go indoors, and uh, uh, do additional tasks. So the body is the same as the Mavic 2 Enterprise. The attachments, the accessories are the same. You have the spotlight, the speaker, the beacon. But what is different is this little camera here. This little camera is in essence a visible and a thermal light camera in one. And that is super exciting because now you have the capability uh, to see heat signatures as well as visible light on a small quick deploy platform. So do you think that, will this replace the Matrice for certain departments or do you think this is in combination? That's a good question. It will absolutely not replace the Matrice. So, Obviously, if you have a sensor the, this small, there, there are limitations. Mm -hmm. And right. the Matrice 210 with an XT or the Matrice 200 with an XT2, um, tremendously powerful platform that can keep an, the oversight over an incident. These guys can then be deployed to go closer in. Let's say you have a structure fire, you want to get closer, you want to see additional information, or you have a suspicious vehicle. Um, these are the guys that, that you can send in with the attachments, uh, either the speaker or the, the spotlight, and, and do additional things while the M210 will keep an overview of the incident site. Why was it important to put the camera on the bottom and still have the availability of the attachments rather than making it an attachment? That's a good question too. So obviously we wanted to keep the ability to have a speaker as well as the spotlight. And the spotlight is actually very, very helpful when you fly at nighttime, for example, and you have the, the, the spotlight on, we can then do the overlay, the MSX overlay, we call it fusion on here right now, um, where we can see additional outlines of features thanks to the visible light camera. So if, if it's dark at night and you don't have the, 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 the spotlight on, then the visible light camera can't see anything. So adding that spotlight to it makes a huge difference in getting additional uh, data to the operator. Yeah, and I've noticed on our XD2 with the daylight camera and turning MSX on, it's incredible how much more you can see with both of them rather than just one or the other. So that's really exciting. Stuff. Absolutely, and and you know I do want to emphasize this is this is not a replacement for an XT2. So a department that is using an XT2 should not feel like oh my goodness, we have this big camera. The X2 is an extremely powerful camera that can do so much. This is really an enhancement. This is like the the longer arm of the of the M200 now because this one you can send in, you can go indoors, uh, you can do so much more. Yeah, the 200 is not practical for flying indoors. I've learned that the hard way. So. <laughs> um, one of the things that before we're going to fly it as well too, but I wanted to show you what the thermal image looks like. Um, this is actually the MSX, the Fusion View that's on right now. Um, and then I would imagine we just turn it off so you can do visible and you said this is the visible camera from similar to the Mavic Air camera? Um, similar, okay. it, it's a 4K camera um, so you have a crystal clear picture and then when you go into the IR now you have uh, obviously on this particular palette uh, the colors uh, uh, are different from from cold obviously the the, the darker to, to the brighter areas where it's warmer but it's hard to make out some details and this is not a great example because we're very close to to what we're looking at here but if we go into the fusion um, we can start to see some of these outlines and so it just gets easier to identify um, what I, what are we looking at and is this like on the M on the XT2 where we've got different levels of MSX? Uh, there's only one level, okay. but we can uh, adjust uh, the, the 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 overlay. Okay. Um, it's about uh, configured for about 15 feet or so okay. um, to be to be perfectly overlaid. Um, but then you, you you have the ability to adjust. And similarly with the XT2, we can also do some some uh, temperature measurements in a, in a larger area. We create this this little box here, 
uh, then we, we can see the hottest and the coldest point. It gives us the information down here. So it also does that. Or we can switch into uh, spot metering and we can click anywhere we want and uh, it gives us uh, that particular reading. Yeah, I love that feature rather than having to recenter the image and all that kind of stuff. Exactly. So I'm gonna let you do the honor since it's not my aircraft. I'm gonna let you take off. All right, so we're gonna take off. So what, what, what you see is um, the, the interface is, is the DJI Pilot. So for, for our enterprise platforms, we're using Pilot as, as our uh, app to, to utilize the technology. And uh, we have uh, several palettes available right now. Uh, if we go into our palettes and we change them to, one of my favorite is Hotspot because it immediately picks up the hottest areas um, and, po and points me to those areas. This is really helpful during a, a structure fire, for example, because you don't want to get bogged down with all the noise around it. You just want to know, where are, where's my hotspot? So this is really, really helpful. Um, if I turn fusion off, you can see that um, it, it's, it's almost like it's blurry, but that's not the case. It's, it's really the, the small sensor that makes it more difficult to identify. At this distance, we can still see these are individuals. Um, so let's go a little bit further back and further up. So we're now about, let's go about 100 feet away. So we're 100 feet away, 40 feet up. Um, let's stay in hotspot. This is what it looks like without fusion on. So we can still see the hotspots. We can still see the shapes of, of individuals. If we now put on the fusion, we immediately get a much clearer picture of what we're looking at. So the, the, the fusion to me is, is an essential piece of, of this particular platform. And it really allows you to have a smaller thermal sensor and still get really good data from, I know people were concerned about the size of the sensor, but really when you have MSX on or fusion, uh, you really get a significant amount of information on the screen. Absolutely. And, and again, you know, this is not particularly the platform that you would use at a 400 feet altitude doing search and rescue. Right. Um, clearly there are limitations, but this is, this is your tool to go close in, you know, instead of sending the bigger aircraft in, this is the guy. Plus, you know, if you, if you look up now, uh, if we turn on the, the light, you know, we have a tremendously uh, bright object in the sky there this is at 50 percent and at night you can only imagine how much this is going to help you in yeah. your in your operation well, you Turn guys on and off real quick. yeah 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 and as i was watching it last night too it was amazing how much light that thing is putting off and then you guys today were out flying like a thousand or fifteen hundred feet down there and i was way down the other end of the street and i was like what is that bright airplane coming towards us yeah. but it was actually the mavic so i was really surprised about that um so, uh, talk to me about the, the size of the sensor. It's a 120 uh, resolution sensor. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, sorry, I don't have the specs right now. No, no, that's you, okay. But it, it's the small. It's the smallest uh, sensor. Okay. We, we're, we're we're doing something a little bit different on the video side. We're, we're kind of electronically enhancing the video, making it a, lot, a little on the larger side. Um, uh, there's more information on the on the website on the exact process and all of that. Um, but we have 4K camera on visible camera and then we have the 120 on the thermal um, and thanks to some of the software enhancement it, it's a little bit blown up, blown up in, on the video side. Yep, now that's awesome. Um, and I, I, for the life of me, can I remember, are we allowed to talk about the price on this yet or are we restricted from doing that? Um, I, I believe it's 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 now out in the open. Okay. Um, it's going to be the standard package sub 3000 yep. and then the fly more combo um, will be a little bit over the three thousand dollar mark. Yeah, that's unbelievable that you guys have been able to do this for under three thousand dollars. And you know, certainly, I know we get calls all the time from departments who don't have the budget for an M two hundred. This is certainly a perfect place to start. If they do have the two hundred, this is a perfect add on to their program. So, congratulations on an amazing product release. We're lucky enough that you happen to be here today when it came out. So, uh, thank you so much for being out here with us, and thank you guys for watching. Uh, of course, if you need any more information on starting a public safety drone program, you can reach out to us at Skyfire Consulting, uh, skyfireconsulting.com. Romeo, thanks so much for being here. Romeo, appreciate it. Thanks. Awesome. Sweet. All right. Thank you. That was awesome. Appreciate it.